like to turn one of these into one of these. Well, to do that, you would have to turn one of these into this. Let's talk about print and cut. Now in order to make a print and cut, we are gonna involve two pieces of equipment. One is a printer, the other is the laser cutter. We're going to be using the DCS S15-1800 UV printer by Direct Color Systems. So this has a 12 by 24 platform, but they make other sizes all the way up to an eight foot by four foot bed. So we're gonna be printing our design here and then cutting our design and our epilogue laser cutter. Let's get started and show you the software. So as we get started, I'm explaining that I'm using Corel Draw, although you can use any other desktop publishing software, Adobe Illustrator and so forth, to create page one of this art frame. So we've got four independent logos and now notice on the logos that I've imported I've got these four registration dots around each of the logos. This is a 12 by 12 page and notice in this document I have two pages, page one and page two. So the whole essence behind a print and cut job in my setup is I've got page one being my print and I'll uh, export that out in a PDF in just a moment. But in page two is going to be my cutout design with my registration dots. There are four green registration dots. Doesn't necessarily have to be green, but this is the makeup of a whole print and cut. So if you're asking yourself, what do I need? You need page one to be your design layout and what you're going to print with the registration dots. That's a quarter inch black dot. That's what our epilogue software will look for. And then page two will be our cut page. This is what we send to the laser cutter. So from page one, we create a PDF and send that to our UV printer and then or sublimation printer. And page two is what we use to cut and send that to the registration camera and the epilogue laser cutter. By the way, I find it very helpful to be able to maneuver around these different pages and objects using the object docker in CorelDRAW. Again, don't have to use Corel Draw, but that's just what I'm using. And so I've got page one as my print, and then page two is gonna be my cutting page. Page one, we send and output a PDF to our UV printer software. And then page two, we send to the Uplug laser for the cutting. So on this computer, I have the Direct Color Systems, which is the Color Byte software. And there are two processes. There is the design side. So this is the color bite rip, or not the rip, but this is the color design software that you import. I imported the PDF that we made in Corel Draw here. You could create jobs straight from the software, but I just do a better job in Corel. So I've used Corel Draw to create the PDF and I've imported this PDF here. And then when we go to cut or print that, sorry, when we go to print this, then this will go to the RIP software. So in this RIP software is where we will tell the printer what order, what print mode to use and make sure it's all set up and aligned properly. And that is what sends that job to the printer. This RIP prints that to the printer. The design again is made in the color by design side software. And I simply don't really use the software to create jobs, but I import the PDF here, and then I print that to the RIP software, which is here, and then that is what gets sent to the correct print mode on the printer. Now, furthermore, once that job is sent to the printer and that's get, get started printing, uh, we're going to prepare that job so that it can get ready to cut. So I'm going to ease over to Corel Draw. So switching over to Corel Draw here, we have again two, again two pages. Page one is the print, page two is the cut. So I'm really just focusing on this cut page for a moment. And so these green dots are what I use to register. And so this will get sent to our epilogue laser cutter. And then that's sent to our job manager. So in this job manager is where we're going to be able to tell the software, hey, the green dots are our registration dots, 
and then the other cut lines will match to that diagram once we get that sent over to the laser cutter. So we'll show you that in another video. Now that it is printed, we're gonna go back to the CorelDRAW file. That's what we printed from the printer. And now this page out of CorelDRAW is what we're gonna to send to the Epilog laser cutter. We have four dots. One, two, three, four registration dot, dots with a green outline. So we'll click on print and just choose by now let's go back and choose selection so it doesn't print all of it. So print by selection. Now we say print. And that opens up the job manager and epilogue. And so we're going to move the gradient barriers out of the way. And this is where we're going to tell it that the green dots, one in each corner, are the registration dots, not something we're actually going to cut. So we come over here and we choose in the process to split by color. So therefore we have the red that's gonna vector cut and the green that is gonna be chosen as we select it and we're gonna choose this registration button. So when we choose registration, that says that the job is only supported through the job manager. And we are in the dashboard, the first time we sent it. So therefore, we're going to just keep everything selected and just choose send to job manager. That's gonna send that to the job manager. So in our list of jobs, we have the loves print and cut. So when we open that up, allows us then to do a couple of different things. We're gonna finish our settings. So we're gonna choose the red and set the speed and the power for cutting plastic, which if we go to our import automatic plastic setting, then we choose that and say, that's the library one. So we'll choose import. And then now that's how long it's gonna to take to cut those. 
10, 55, and 100. I reckon I could probably speed that up a little bit in the speed, power, and frequency. I'm gonna say about 15 speed and provide a lower frequency of about 15. Don't want the edge to scorch real bad. Maybe on acrylic you'd want a high frequency, but on this plastic we don't want to melt it. So, 127. And then the green is notified because we clicked registration for the dots. At this point, our laser cutter is telling us to choose the upper right and as registration mark number one. Select the registration mark and the video feed that corresponds with the pink highlighted mark in the panel. So choose the mark in here that matches the diagram here. And that would be right up in this corner here. And we can also choose to adjust if the lighting is a little different inside the room you're in. You might need to adjust the lighting, contrast, brightness to uh, so you can see that a little better. So we're gonna choose maybe a little less contrast. All right, so the upper left corner ought to be this one right here. And then the lower left, it automatically moved to choose the lower left. Now select registration mark number two that matches inside the video feed and that's gonna be right here, mark number two. So we see mark number one and mark number two that matches our diagram. Now all we do is choose confirm, which is down here. And now the machine is gonna go find those dots. Once those uh, dots have been located, it goes ahead and sends that job to the machine. So the speed and power is already sent to the laser. Let's go take a look. So now that we have our job over here, that job has shown up as the print and the cut at the top. Now we're gonna make sure our exhaust and our pump is on. Thanks, Mike. Now, we've got that going. So that's gonna take about a minute and 27 seconds to cut that out. So when we choose play, rock and roll.